Alright, well, we've applied the very first coat of primer. It's not a real light coat, but it's not real heavy either. I'd say it's probably medium as far as thickness goes. You can see where there's some, some uh, more cured and less cured stuff. Um, but this is the very first coat. While this stuff was starting to, to cure, I went ahead and pulled the tape off. Um, I'll let it fully cure up and I'll mask all of this off again and then I'll sand it, wipe it down, give it a second coat, then it'll get sanded, wiped down and start applying the paint. So this is the primer. Here's a look at it from the front. Turned out pretty good. It's a very, very clean paint line. Turned out really nice actually. So here it is. Here's where we cross over our chine and underneath our ply joint and I can't you know it's not glossy so it's hard to tell but I I can't see where I can see some some roller paint lines here but I can't tell oh here's our joint so anyhow the joint is right across in here it turned out pretty dang good so uh, first coats on here it is back at the transom So anyhow, let this cure, um, and again, here's our, our abrupt corner where paint line comes along and then, <laughs> and it looks funny looking at it from the top of the boat, but uh, again, let's see if we can get down here at water line, there it is, it's a perfectly straight line when you're looking at it. So, I chose the gray because uh, I'm painting a dark color and I just figured it would help it stay dark. Um, I was afraid if I were to do the white primer that you know it may lighten up my, my bottom color. So this paint is, sorry it's hard to tell, but it is Interlux Pre-Coat Primer. It's a polyurethane, one part. Um, I chose this paint because I wanted to use Interlux bright I'm sorry Interlux bright sides or bright side for my bottom paint. Um, so I just I wanted to stay with the all Interlux brand. Um, the fillet looks pretty good down the side of the skeg. No obvious lumpy bumpies, so I guess that's all right. Anyhow, so Interlux pre-coat uh, one part polyurethane. And uh, I'll be following that up after I get the two coats and get it sanded. Then I will uh, be following it up with an entire bottom of white. And I believe the white I picked was uh, Interlux Blue Glow White or something like that. Sting your eyes bright white. Um, and the entire bottom, everything that's gray now, will get painted in that. Two to three coats. <laughs> And then I'll come back and I'll mask off like a three-quarter inch line all the way around the boat. And then from that line up, I'll repaint the entire bottom in two to three coats of Interlux Bright Side Flag Blue. I mean, that kind of gives it away. Think of the U.S. Flag Blue. That's the color the bottom's going to be. So after I get those coats on, then I'll peel that tape off and expose that three-quarter inch white boot stripe all the way around the boat. It's going to be beautiful. Making good progress. All right, for the month of April 2015, we put in 13 and 3 quarters hours on the zip. Um, that brings our total hours up to 194.75 hours into the zip build. Uh, all of this month, 13 and 3 quarters hours was into painting. Uh, we went up $232.93, so that brings our grand total, total invested into the zip, up to $2,228.94. So we are comfortably into the $2,000 range now, but we're making good progress. Let's see where we are. So this is where we're at at the moment. Uh, after the first coat, I re-taped off my waterline. Uh, sanded everything up and applied the second coat of the Interlux pre
pre-coat primer. It is a one part polyurethane primer. Um, the second coat looks really, really nice. If you look close, you might be able to see the roller marks. Um, this was just rolled on. This wasn't tipped, uh, just, just a plain old roller. Rolled on and let her dry. Um, I was varying my pressure. When I was spreading it out, I would push pretty hard to spread it out as far as I could. Then I would come back with medium pressure to make sure everything was coated, you know, different directions. And then light pressure um, to get it to smooth out real well. And then right before I moved on to do the next section, um, I would put next to no pressure at all, just barely letting the roller go across. And uh, that technique seemed to work really good with this pre-coat. It turned out really nice. So I got the, the skeg all painted. Um, the first coat was pretty thin. This one was also pretty thin. After the first coat, you could actually still see the grain of the wood through the primer. So it was still, it was a pretty thin coat. This one's a little, a little thicker, not much, but much, much, much flatter. And again, this uh, Interlux pre-coat paint, or I'm sorry, primer, uh, it has micro balloons in it, or microspheres. So it fills a lot of the very, very small imperfections. Um, just by nature, having those microspheres in there, it fills a lot of that. So anyhow, it looks, it looks great. Of course, it's not shiny. This is the primer. It's just a flat gray color. But uh, looking really good. Here's this edge. You can see all, all of the dust on the hull. But it's looking really nice. Here's down this side. Just looking good. Here's where we cross across the uh, chine joint. The chine joint looks pretty dang good. So we are uh, primered, two coats. So after this sits up for a few more days, this has been on one, one night, 24 hours or so, I'll remask off this line. I'll give everything a, a light sanding and uh, I will apply my Interlux Bright Side Blue Glow White, uh, also a single part polyurethane, um, to everything that's gray. So we're getting ready to do the bottom paint. After that white is on, two to three coats, uh, I will tape off a three quarter inch wide line of the white all the way around the boat, and then I'll paint everything above that Interlux Bright Side Flag Blue. It's a really dark blue, very, very pretty. So I'll, I'll paint two to three coats of that, and then when I peel off that tape line, it should expose a three-quarter inch white boot stripe all the way around the boat, and then everything else will be the dark blue. So we're making uh, great progress. We're not that far off from flipping this baby over. Four more coats of paint and flipped. So making good progress. So here's my pile of masking materials that I've taken off of the zip uh, for the two coats of primer up to this point. Um, so some things that we bought this month. I bought this style of a roller and I went to these mini uh, foam rollers. This was a six pack. These are the Ace brand. Uh, but I really, really like these rollers a lot. Uh, after using these, I'll never go back to the, the old four inch style, the tube slip-ons. These are so much nicer, really nice. They're not that expensive. I bought a couple of rolls of tape. This is a Ace brand also. It is like a 14 day guaranteed release or something like that. That's what I use to mask off my water line. And again, it just, the paint line is super clean. So for being a relatively inexpensive uh, tape, it worked very nice. I'm gonna continue using this stuff, I like it. Uh, I bought obviously some paint trays, some foam brushes, although I haven't used them uh, on the primer and I, I probably won't use them on the paint. I'll probably go buy a pretty decent quality paint so I can tip it out really smooth. I don't think these will, you know, I can't guarantee, but I don't think they'll do as good a job as a, a good brush would. Uh, I bought some, again, Ace brand. You can tell there's an Ace close to my house. Uh, 220 sandpaper and some 120 sandpaper. Uh, between the 
before I laid down the first coat of primer, I sanded everything above my tape line uh, with 80 grit to give that first coat something to grip into. Between the second, I'm sorry, the first and the second coat, I sanded it with 220, and then I came over the top of it with some Scotch Brite. Uh, this stuff right here. This is a, a 3M product, Scotch Brite. This is their very fine. Um, it's the red colored pads. This stuff's a little over a dollar uh, a sheet, so I bought a whole box of it. I was able to sand the entire painted surface of the hull with one pad, so it's a really good value. It works incredibly well. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend this stuff. It is so nice. Before I picked up this box of Scotch Brite, I went and bought this Ace brand scuffing, like generic knockoff Scotch Brite. Doesn't work worth a crap. It was a ton of effort. Uh, it didn't work very well. When compared to the Scotch Brite, it's just night and day. This, in my opinion, is terrible. The Scotch Brite just blew it out of the water. It was easy to use. It removed material quickly, and it left a beautiful finish. And I think a lot of the kudos for the nice smoothness of the second coat of primer has to go to this Scotch Brite. It's nice stuff. So I highly, highly recommend this good stuff. But that's where we are. Things that I bought this month. Obviously, I also bought my Interlux pre-coat primer, a quart of that, and a quart was enough to paint the true water line. Um, got two coats on now. I could probably paint two more coats with the quart that I have. I also ordered a quart of the Interlux Bright Side Flag Blue and a quart of the Interlux Bright Side Blue Glow White. And again, I, I anticipate the exact same thing. Um, I'll probably only use half a quart to maybe two-thirds of a co uh, quart to paint the true waterline. Now, if you're going to, like a lot of zip builders do, follow this chine line with paint, you know, it'll take a little more paint, but not much, really. So a quart would appear to be more than enough of each color, whatever color you're going to do, to get two to three, maybe even four coats on the zip. So that's where we are, making great progress. Let this cure up a few more days. I'll get it taped off and sanded again. Get the white, two coats of white. And we're going to taped off and sand it again. Tape off our, our white three quarter inch stripe. Paint everything flag blue. Two to three coats of that. And we'll peel off that, uh, peel off that tape to reveal our stripe. And bottom paint is done. Hull is done. It'll be time to flip it. So we are making fantastic progress. Things are turning out beautiful. I couldn't be more proud. So thank you for watching. Please rate and comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next update of Building the Zip.